how to make a woman obsessed with you. I'm gonna share with you five techniques that you can use to get a girl to really, really chase you. I do wanna say these can be used for good or evil, and I highly encourage you guys not to do the latter. Also, I'm gonna share a six bonus technique that I think is quite manipulative that I don't advocate you use, but the information is gonna be out there. Like I said in the introduction, these can be used for good or evil, and I encourage you guys not to be fucking evil. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first one's pretty easy. It's positioning yourself as the prize. So if you're a guy that's just like, you know, fucking chasing the girl, and you're someone that is already sold on her before she even opens her mouth, then why is she gonna be obsessed with you? You're like every single other guy. However, if you position yourself as the prize, someone who's not easily sold on her, someone that she has to win over, then she's gonna be much more likely to chase you. And when a girl chases you, that's when she's gonna become obsessed with you. So the first one is really easy. Don't be easily sold on the girl. Be the place of abundance, right? So again, this is something that's really hard to fake. You have to actually get you know, quite a few girls in your life so you can be in a genuine place of abundance. So when a girl is just hot girl shows up, you're not sold on her right away, right? The kind of the attitude you wanna have is like, yeah, I think you're attractive, but but what else is there to you, right? So the more you play hard to get, you know, again, this can backfire if you overdo it, the more the girl's likely to become obsessed with you. Number two, mind-blowing sex. So if you make a girl come five, 10, 15 times, she's gonna be obsessed with you, right? Because no one else is giving her that good sex. The vast majority of guys are horrible in bed. They're not making her come at least not even once. But if you're doing, you know, go doing the opposite, make her come over and over and over again, right? She's gonna become obsessed with you because she can only get that sexual experience with you. And a bonus tip you can do is possessiveness, right? So when you're fucking the girl and you're like, yeah, you're my dirty little slut. That's my pussy. Whose pussy is this? She's like, oh, daddy's pussy. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, it's daddy's pussy. Stuff like that is gonna reinforce the fact that she is yours, right? And again, if you say that in real life, like outside the bedroom, you're like, yeah, you're my slut. The girl's gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with you, right? Like at least 99% of girls do. However, if you say that in bed, the vast, vast majority of girls will be turned on by that, right? So again, you're reinforcing this thing that you're basically, she's your sex toy. Again, it sounds a little fucked up, but you know, kind of is what it is. Now, another big thing you can do is also kind of marking the girl. So, uh, you know, what you can do is like leave like a you know, nice handprint on her ass, of course, assuming that she consents, or maybe a hickey on her neck, but that kind of thing is when she goes home, when your sexual encounter ends, and she looks in the mirror and she sees a hickey of you, she's gonna be constantly reminded of you. When she sees, you know, when she sits down, her ass hurts a little bit, she's gonna be reminded of you. So again, uh, I don't really advocate that you guys really push this one, but that's just food for thought. Number three, massive emotional investment, right? So this is really just getting the girl to open up, right? So every person, you know, has layers to them. They have the, you know, like the superficial layer that the public meets, then they have a layer that's deeper, then they have a layer that's deeper. The more you can penetrate, pun intended, through these layers, get her to, get her to really open up and tell you shit that she hasn't told anyone. Just get that massive emotional investment, the more she's gonna be obsessed with you because again, you're the only guy that she's invested that much into. Now people generally, this is getting men and women want to see a return on their investment, right? So if the girl invests very little, then you know, why would she be obsessed with you? She doesn't really have anything to gain. However, if she's invested a lot, she's gonna to want to see a return on that investment. And that could include really, really chasing you. Number four, now this one is a little bit of fucked up. This is not being too easily available, right? So, and this is not something you're gonna do, you know, off the bat, this is gonna be something you're gonna do after sex. Uh, you don't wanna be the guy that's just like too easily available. So this could do, mean things like reading, leaving the girl on red, right? So she texts you and your natural inclination is just to respond to her, uh, but you might just leave her on red for a few hours, right? So the girl should never have an idea that basically you're hers, right? She shouldn't She shouldn't know, okay, this guy's sold on me. She should be like, I don't know if this guy's sold on me or not. And that's gonna make her more and more obsessed with you. Now, this is one I personally do not do. So when I'm texting with Natty, I'm not like, oh, it's been it's been like 30 minutes. Let me leave her on red for longer. I don't do this. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna text her back. However, you know, my goal is not to make Natty obsessed with me. But if it was, I would do this. Number five, emotional spikes. Right? So giving the girl an emotional roller coaster, right? If you we were just having a chill conversation, like, hey, how was your day? Oh, good, mine was good. Yeah, that's like pleasant and fun, but it's not gonna make her obsessed with her. But however, if you can give her these emotional highs and emotional lows, 
right? That is gonna make her obsessed with you. Like a technique you can do is future projection. So that's when you're talking to a girl and you're like, yeah, you know, it's gonna be awesome when we travel to France next month, right? You're future projecting. Uh, you can also use the we frame, right? So you're just talking about you two as a unit. But really the biggest thing is just having that emotional roller coaster. Again, this is something that I personally do not do. I prefer having chill interactions. But again, if my goal was to make Natty or any girl obsessed with me, I would give her these like massive highs, emotional highs, and also a little bit of a low. Not too low, right? Like, but take it down a little bit so the girl experiences a range of emotions. A range of emotions is very, very addictive, right? So that's the fifth thing that I would do. And the last thing, this is something I absolutely do not advocate. However, I'm just putting the information out there. This is something that Tinder Swindler was notorious for doing. And the Tinder Swindler was really, really good at making girls obsessed with him. That's how he got all that money. And it's called love bombing. So love bombing is when you're telling a girl, oh, I love you so much, you're the best, you're my favorite, I'm in love with you, blah, blah, blah. Now, of course, it's not something you're saying off the bat. This is something you're saying, you know, maybe one month, two months into the relationship, right? But if you love bomb the girl, you give her those massive, massive positive emotions, she's gonna wanna hear no, uh, you know, more of them. Again, something I personally would never do, right? I don't think it's, you should tell a girl you love her unless you really love her, but this is something the tender swindler was notorious for doing, and it clearly worked because all these girls became so obsessed with him that they gave him massive amounts of money. All right, hope you guys found this video valuable and show some love like I always say by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, clicking the bell for notification, and consider sharing this video for a friend. If you wanna see more dope content, then check out our video on the Tinder Swindlers game overview or check out a simple texting trick that's gonna make a girl chase you.